Only 12 people have ever set their feet on the moon. The first of these was U.S. astronaut Neil Armstrong on July 21, 1969. He commented on the moment he set foot on our satellite for the first time with the legendary words, that's one small step for man and one giant leap for all mankind. But were these 12 people really the only ones to leave footprints on the moon? Thanks to NASA's unexplained files, we know that there is at least one clue to other footprints on the moon that were clearly not left by humans. So who else could have been on the moon? We explore this exciting question in this video. But before we show you the pictures of the mysterious footprints on the moon, we would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel, activate the notification bell, and give us a like at the end of the video if you enjoyed it. Now we're going to show you what find on the moon left NASA scientists simply speechless. Mysterious Footprints on the Moon The moon is a celestial body that is dry, dusty, and completely free of winds or erosion. There is complete silence, and footprints left there by humans in the 1960s will most likely still be seen millions of years from now. Since 1969, 12 people have officially left footprints on the lunar surface, the last of whom were Apollo 17 astronauts Harrison Schmidt and Eugene Cernan. But thanks to the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter probe, NASA researchers have been able to find a series of footprints on the moon that are clearly not from Apollo astronauts. The incredible images show a series of footprints stretching over 100 meters that are clearly not of human origin. How do the researchers know this? Well, that's quite easy to answer, because the tracks you can see here are far too large for a human to be responsible for them. But from whom do they come from? Well here, NASA researchers and press speakers, who are typically so ready with explanations, were at first rather speechless. NASA simply doesn't know. And so these mysterious footprints made it into the archives of NASA's unexplained files. This collection of unexplained observations and occurrences surrounding NASA missions and space observation naturally arouses the interest of all friends of the unusual, amateur astronomers, and UFO researchers. The unsolved files of the U.S. Space Agency have been documenting for decades all the things researchers do not like to speak publicly about, things that should not actually exist. What did Harrison Schmidt and Eugene Cernan see on the moon? An intense mystery has developed in the past decades around NASA's last Apollo missions. Allegedly, the astronauts found evidence for the existence of extraterrestrials on the moon. For safety reasons, NASA did not fly to the moon again despite planned missions. All nonsense, says NASA. The moon missions were stopped because the exploration of the moon had simply been exhausted and the Apollo missions had become too expensive. The visit of the astronauts Harrison Schmidt and Eugene Cernan was documented over numerous film recordings. Among other things, the images show Harrison Schmidt happily bouncing around on the lunar surface. Later, the astronaut called this merry run on the moon his very own version of the moonwalk. Other pictures show the two well-behaved men shredding across the lunar surface in their lunar rover for nearly 30 miles. Due to the lower gravity and the thick spacesuits, locomotion as well as control of the vehicle were a great challenge for the astronauts, for which they had practiced for years on Earth. So apart from the loneliness of the lunar landscape, the two did not encounter anything gruesome, strange, or even extraterrestrial. Of course, the two have also left their traces. The footprints and the traces of the rover can be seen to this day. In 2009, the rover tracks could still be seen very well on images taken by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. But the images of the orbiter show something else. About 19 miles away from the tracks of Schmidt and Cernan and all other NASA astronauts, a mysterious trail runs through the lunar dust. First Attempts at Explanation After the images became known, scientists made efforts to explain them. One of the first to comment on the discovery was lunar geologist Benjamin Weiss. He explained that, in his opinion, the impression of footprints could only be an optical illusion. The prints may look like footprints, 
but they are actually an indication of some kind of geological activity. Only which kind of geological phenomenon on the moon should form such a trace? The moon geologists could not say. At present, only this much is sure. The trace cannot come from human feet because the steps are much too large. Benjamin Weiss's explanation attempt sounds plausible at first. The only thing is that there is very little geological activity on the moon today. All craters, which we know, originate from asteroids or comet impacts. The moon today knows neither plate tectonics, nor earthquakes, nor erosion. Especially the serpentine shape of the track also speaks against the theory. Here a small meteorite could have hopped after its impact. Later geologists found a logical explanation for the phenomenon. The holes, reminiscent of footprints, were most likely created by an underground tunnel. Many billions of years ago, when the moon was still comparatively young, there thought to have been active volcanism on the moon. Since traces on the moon remain almost unchanged for millions and billions of years, this could indeed be an explanation. Researchers immediately set out to find similar phenomena on other moons and dry dust plains like Mars. But they finally found what they were looking for, not in the cosmos, but here on Earth. One scientist was struck by the similarity of the footprints on the moon to a well-known natural phenomenon in Northern California. The lava beds are a million-year-old volcanic formation whose holes were formed by an underground tunnel filled with hot lava. Similar geological activity can still be seen today in Hawaii. Under the shield volcano, Mount Kilauea, lava also branches out in half-mile-long tubes or tunnel-like passages. However, this explanatory approach raises another interesting question. Could there be underground duct systems and tunnels on the moon? Interestingly, the idea was taken up as early as 1901 by H.G. Wells, a pioneer of science fiction novels. In The First Men on the Moon, the writer describes underground passage systems on Earth's satellite that are ruled by sinister creatures. An underground system of ancient lava tunnels on the moon could be of the greatest interest to contemporary humans for very specific reasons. In the coming years, both NASA and Elon Musk's SpaceX space company are planning manned stations on the moon. In the future, these will serve as stopovers for manned flights to Mars. And in the case of SpaceX, such stations could also accommodate lunar tourists. A subterranean passage system on the moon would be excellently suited for the installation of a colony. Beneath the surface, humans would find permanent geological structures and protection from cosmic radiation. If it should happen in the next years that humans stay permanently on the moon, beside the mysterious lava tunnels, they will find their traces from 50 years of lunar space travel. What humans have left behind on the moon so far? Among the most curious things brought to the moon by humans is a framed family photo. In 1972, an Apollo 16 astronaut left it behind on the moon. On the back is written, this is the family of astronaut Charlie Duke of planet Earth, who landed on the moon on April 20th, 1972. Since nearly every Apollo mission has left a US flag on the moon, collectors may find some of these iconic spacecraft memorabilia. It's likely that future space travelers will put their own flags in the lunar dust. SpaceX will most likely put a company flag on the moon, and who knows, maybe in 10 or 20 years, we'll have neon signs on the moon. Besides flags and pictures, there is already something like a lunar cemetery. The ashes of US geologist and pioneer of lunar exploration, Gene Shoemaker, flew to the moon in 1998 aboard the Lunar Prospector spacecraft. The Moon Museum was a project by artists who burned their works onto a chip. Allegedly, the artwork secretly flew to the moon aboard Apollo 12 and are still the only art museum in space. The fallen astronaut is also a type of art. The aluminum sculpture by Belgian artist Paul van Hoyedonk was brought to the moon by David Scott, commander of the Apollo 15 mission. The plaque, placed face down, lists names of 14 people who perished on lunar missions or in the course of other space missions. In addition to all sorts of souvenirs, upcoming travelers are likely to enjoy technical bells and whistles on the moon. From space shuttle descent stages to moon buggies, all sorts of technical devices and vehicles have been left behind by astronauts. Transporting the equipment to the moon was expensive enough. Taking it back was not even factored in for cost reasons. At this point, and last but not least, 96 bags of garbage must be mentioned. 
which are currently on the moon, according to official information from NASA. To bring back the 96 bags with garbage from the moon on the Earth is still on the list of NASA's unfinished business. Who knows, maybe the cosmic recycling chain will soon be closed by the new lunar pioneers, SpaceX, and also Blue Origin from Amazon boss, Jeff Bezos. SpaceX could certainly make a fortune from bringing back lunar vehicles and other lunar memorabilia. Jeff Bezos is likewise known to be crazy about the moon. In 2019, the Amazon CEO unveiled his Blue Moon Lunar Lander. When exactly this will launch to the moon, however, is currently still open. On board these space shuttles, in addition to space tourists, there will certainly also be lunar geologists who will then be able to get to the bottom of the mysterious traces on the lunar surface on site. So we can be curious about what will happen on the moon in the next few years and what exciting discoveries the lunar pioneers of the 21st century will make. We at Simply Space will keep you up to date with the latest news and hope you enjoyed this video and will check back with us soon. Finally, tell us what you think about the mysterious footprints on the lunar surface and the current plans for manned lunar spaceflight. Do you believe that there are or were aliens on the moon? We look forward to your opinion and your contributions to the topic in the comments.